What's going on guys? I'm Mike Romain from SuperheroJack.com, the place where fitness meets everything nerd and pop culture. So make sure you stop by the channel and check out for some other playlists you might like. Today I wanted to do a quick video on how to connect your iOS games to Bluestacks. This is something that I tried for so long I scoured the internet to try to find ways to connect my iPhone games from iOS to Bluestacks, which is the program that you see that lets you run your games on the PC. And I was doing this because, as you guys may know, I'm, I'm a PC gamer. I've played World of Warcraft for a long time, and now I mainly play Hearthstone, which is a game that I can play both on my mobile device, my iPad, and the PC. So I wanted to also be able to do this with the team builder games that I play on mobile as well, which is mainly Disney Hero, Strike Force, and I'm looking forward to some other games that are coming out in 2019. I'm actually going to be putting out a video, my top three anticipated games. So this is something I wanted to put out for you guys because basically the information that I found on how to do this was not helping me at all. People were just trying to use back-end methods and put some weird downloads and give you information that really just didn't pertain to actually getting the iOS game and the Android game put into both places on Bluestacks and your mobile device. So that's what I'm going to be explaining and talking a little bit about here. I didn't edit out the full screen. I wanted you to be able to see that I'm running on PC. You can see Bluestacks 4 and whatever I have open down here. See I'm recording on OBS. Um, one thing I did want to show you is that here's Mike's old account, right? So you see that this is my old email account that I'm using just as a game account. They want you to sign into a Gmail account, which is as if you're playing an Android device, right? But my game center on my iPhone is iOS. So there's no way to actually link those two up. So the way you're going to do this is going to be contingent on if the game itself allows it. I'm going to give you a couple examples. I'm going to show you Disney Heroes and Strike Force, which luckily are my two main games that allow me to play both on my iOS mobile device and on Bluestacks. Now, I'm not going to be able to play at the same exact time. I can play Strike Force on one while Disney Heroes on the other, but I can't be logged into two devices. So let me start with Disney Heroes, which you guys have seen me play a bunch of. Here's my main account, Superhero Jacked. And if you go into accounts, you could actually create a new account. See, the way I am, the way I am managing this account and actually all the accounts is you could see Facebook, the Android Game Center, and the Game Center. So all of those are linked, but the way that it's allowing me to have all these accounts in here is because Facebook actually stores the information in both and is allowing me to pair it back and forth from iOS to Android. So Facebook is storing that information for me, and you could see that I'm actually able to do that as well on let me get in game here oh my god if it ever lets me in see here we go connect to google play games and sign out of facebook that's because i'm already connected on facebook and facebook is what's storing this information for me so it's allowing me to bring the game in both if i was to connect to google play obviously it wouldn't go over to ios or i could save it via google play but it wouldn't help me bring it over to my ios device so facebook is what is storing that information and bringing that information back and forth these are two examples of games that are allowing me to do that now if i pull up a third example this is looney tunes world of mayhem this is another team builder game as you guys know that's the type of game i like i like putting a team together going up against other teams and I really like when it's obviously pertaining to the nerdy stuff like Looney Tunes, Marvel Strike Force, Disney Heroes, that's my thing. So I was really, really into this game. I really was having fun with it. As you can see, I'm level 10, but I had a couple different accounts because I was trying to figure out a way to put it on both devices. Now, if you go in here in settings, here you go. I'm connected to Google Play and on my iOS device, on my app version, I'm connected to the Game Center. As you can see down here, join the gang, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So this game does not have a way to connect and store your information or store the game content rather via Facebook so that you could log in on both devices. So this game is not a game that I'm able to play both ways and unfortunately that's why I don't play it that much. Now if I switch in I'll give you one more example which is a game that allows you to store it but isn't really compatible with what we're trying to do. Okay so here we go. Dragon Ball Dokken. I actually want to show you guys the login because I want to take you all the way through and give you guys an example of how it's storing this information via Facebook and what happens when you go to do it. So down here you'll see device transfer. You can click that and transfer game data via Facebook. It's giving me uh, an error because I'm actually signed into Facebook already on this, but that is how you would do it. That's how you would link it back to iOS and I can do that. I could take this account and link it back to iOS. The problem with this game, the reason why it's nearly impossible to play back and forth is every single time you want to link it back and forth from iOS 
to Android, it makes you re-download all your content, which not only is annoying, but it takes some time every single time, especially as you progress through the game, and they delete all the diamonds that you've collected within the game. Let's say I woke up, wanted to get in some dailies, and I'm grinding on my games, and I collect some diamonds, and later on I'm on the computer, I'm doing some work, I got my monitors going, and I want to play some Dragon Ball, I have to wait for it to download, I have to make sure I spend all my diamonds on my mobile device, wait for it to download, and then I have to do the same exact thing, make sure if I'm going to the gym, for example, I'm gonna play on the elliptical, I make sure I have it downloaded, and I've spent my diamonds on both sides, so it's actually a real annoying process and it's not a game that you'd be able to really do if you're really really into it and playing as much as I play Disney Heroes and Strike Force but yeah that's really it that is how you can connect your iOS devices and BlueStacks I'm using BlueStacks 4 which is the newest version um, but I have used older versions so it works with all of them as long as the game allows it it really is contingent on these games allowing you to store your data via Facebook and as you can see by Dragon Ball Token it's not just storing that data and then having to download each time. It's storing it and then being able to log in with no problem. Just an easy access game. That's where the data is being pulled from. The same way it would be pulled from the Game Center or the Android Game Center. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's something that I was trying to figure out for quite a while. I do a lot of mobile gaming and I really like playing on the PC and I like going back and forth because a lot of times when I'm getting cardio in or just in between sets at the gym or I'm doing things like that, I am I really like to be playing on my mobile. I'll play Hearthstone like that. I'll get my quest in there and I'm playing Disney Hero Strike Force, stuff like that. So I really needed it to go back and forth because a lot of my work takes place on the PC. And it's something that, luckily enough, a lot of the games that I play are allowing it, the bigger games that I play. So it's something that I'm going to be looking for in my top anticipated games of 2019 to also be allowing me to do. Hopefully when I make that list, we'll talk more about it and hopefully they allow for me to go back and forth. But if you did like this video, smash thumbs up button. Make sure to check out the channel for some other things you might like. Subscribe and I'll talk to you later.